So hello everyone. A very good morning to all of you. I hope I'm clearly visible and audible to you people. Let me confirm it in one minute. If I'm clearly visible and audible to you people, I will start the class without wasting time. Just give me one minute. So I welcome you all for this session. I am Dr. Priyanka Sachdev here, NEET PG Educator on An Academy. And today I am here to continue my series that is image based questions and clinical scenario questions based on robots from pathology. So in this series, I daily take one system. From that system, uh, I discuss image based questions and clinical scenario based questions uh, every day. I take three lectures every day, one in the morning on the YouTube and two on special classes in the night on an academy platform on special classes so today i am uh, my system for teaching you is breast in the uh, pathology i will teach you image based questions and clinical scenario based questions from breast so let me start without wasting time before starting it i have a very important announcement for you people uh, only three days are left till 11th of september if till 11th today is 9th of september now so till 11th of September, if you are taking plus plus subscription on an academy, you will get the PDF of the notes, hard copy PDF of the notes free of cost of all 19 subjects. So take this advantage after 11th of September, if you take plus subscription, it will cost separately. So notes will cost separately. So you will get free. So free an academy printed notes along with plus subscription till 11th of September and only three days are left. So if you are thinking of taking any plus subscription now, just take it within three days only. And you can apply the code SACHDEV10, S-A-C-H-D-E-V, and you will get maximum discount, 10% discount on the total payment amount. So after this announcement, let me start. Let me start uh, the cases. So you know the rules. First, take the clues from the question. Compile all clues together and make your diagnosis. Whatever probable diagnosis you are thinking, select the best answer according to the diagnosis. Don't forget to rule out other options. So, okay, let me start. This is the first case in front of you. You can see the image. I will help you in reading the question. There is a big clinical question. Try to read the question in first reading only. Because in exam, you have limited time. You know, you can't afford twice or thrice reading big, big questions. So, take clues from the question. A 71-year-old woman. I always say age is a clue. So, she is an old woman. Has a five-month history of rough scale, scaling skin over the left breast. Can you see? The diagram is given. So rough scaly skin, can you see here it is there, here skill is there. So on examination, there is underlying ill-defined 5 centimeter mass. So if you have examined it, if you have examined this patient on examination, you have find there is a 5 centimeter ill-defined mass just below this area. But, so cell, you have taken out the mass. You have do the surgery, taken out the mass. The cells of the mass are ER positive, PR positive, but her, ER negative, HER2 negative, but uh, uh, HER2 positive, ERPR negative, estrogen receptor negative, progesterone receptor negative, but HER2 receptor it is positive. So what treatment, first give me the diagnosis, first give me the diagnosis, what is the skin appearance called, typical skin appearance shown in the image and what is the treatment option you will give to this particular patient depending on the molecular therapy. Anyone from the audience, do you want to answer it? What typical skin appearance is known as? So I am giving you a clue, you can see the roughened skin here. The skin is showing roughness, it is showing scaling and it is somewhat orange in color. So the typical, typical appearance of this skin is known as PDO orange. PDO orange. PDO orange appearance, orange red appearing skin. Why it is there? Why it is PDO orange? So of course there is a malignancy just behind this area. So because of malignancy, orange appearance kyun hai? Orange or edematous appearance kyun hai? This orange appearance is due to edema. Scalar. So why there is edema? It is due to dermal lymphatic invasion by the carcinoma cells. So the tumor cells entered the skin. In the skin, it is entering the lymphatics of the, of the skin. And the tumor cells are obstructing the lymphatics. Because of obstruction of the lymphatics, the skin get edematous and swelled. So the skin get edematous and swelled. It is appearing like an orange. Can you see this diagram? So this is the orange. So can you see the surface of the skin of the orange is like granular. It is roughened. It is not smooth skin. It is not like apple ka skin. It is orange ka skin that is that is not smooth. That is somewhat roughened skin. So the skin here also becoming the same way. Because of edema. Edema at the skin because of obstruction of the lymphatics by carcinoma cells. 
so that is the whole mechanism the mechanism is known as pdo orange that was the answer of the first question what is the second question indicating here what is the treatment you will offer to this patient now treatment this patient is er negative pr negative and her2 or cer b2 one and the same thing it is positive so what does this information is given to you so she is er pr negative and her2 positive so according to it you will not give hormonal therapy to this patient hormonal therapy that is tamoxifen is ineffective in this patient but you can offer monoclonal antibody treatment that is trastuzumab to this patient so trastuzumab you can give but tamoxifen you cannot give so this this whole thing is based on you cannot give tamoxifen you can give trastuzumab what does it indicate for understanding this you have to understand erpr and her2 receptors what are these erpr and her2 receptor i have told you three things erpr and her2 listen listen and you have to understand the molecular classification of the breast cancer so er and pr receptors estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor these are the receptors present on the surface of the breast cells you know this is a normal breast of a female okay let me draw a normal breast this is the nipple and this is the normal breast of a female it is made up of cells the breast cells have receptors on it known as er and pr er receptors and pr estrogen and progesterone receptors can you see here it is estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor they are present on the surface of a normal cell this is a normal breast cell but when the cell get mutated and get converted into cancerous cell at that particular point see the number of erpr receptors it increases dramatically compare it here only one erpr receptor was present on the surface here numerous are present on the surface that is their number increases dramatically dramatically but it does, doesn't happen in all breast cancer during mutation it occurs in almost 70% of the breast cancers not all so such such breast cancers are known as er positive and pr positive breast cancer because they have er and pr receptor tremendously increased on their surface so this category is known as this some of the breast cancer they get mutated but after mutation also their surface have only few erpr receptors like normal one so these are known as erpr negative 25 or 20 or 25 or 30 percent of the breast cancers are like this so erpr positive hai ki erpr negative hai that you have to see that you have to see now which one is better erpr positive hona better hai ki negative hona for the patient for, for the prognosis of the patient so for the patient which one is better erpr positive one is much better than erpr negative because here we know the many receptors are present on the surface and cell division based when estrogen and progesterone come it will bind with its receptor the cell will divide the cell will divide the cell will divide when estrogen and progesterone come and bind with its receptor so what we can do we can offer a treatment to the patient which blocks these receptor so estrogen and receptor estrogen and progesterone receptor blocker we can offer so that therapy is known as hormonal therapy or tamoxifen tamoxifen so this is the treatment which we offer to such patients which are erpr positive but the patients which are erpr negative who have few receptors on their surface so in them this division doesn't depend on erpr division depends on some hidden other growth factors which are not known to us so in such patient tamoxifen is ineffective which is the patient in our question so in our question the patient is erpr negative so here you can see this is the tamoxifen this one this molecule and it is inhibiting this er receptor this is er receptor so it will it is blocking the er receptor so that estrogen cannot bind with it you can see here also this is estrogen receptor and uh, normally when estrogen binds with the estrogen receptor uh, cell division takes place but this is the hormonal therapy tamoxifen hormonal receptor blocker tamoxifen it is blocking it so estrogen cannot bind with it so cell division do not take place and these these tumors have slightly better prognosis and you can see we confirm it whether it is erpr positive or negative by isc you can see in this isc it is er positive it is pr positive the third receptor is her2 like erpr also breast cells have her2 receptor you can see normal breast cell this is the normal breast cell you can see here it is having few her2 but when it get converted into cancerous cell by mutation it get converted into cancerous cell by mutation you can see on the surface her2 receptor increases tremendously so these these tumors are known as her2 positive not all breast cancers are her2 positive only 30% of them are her2 positive rest 70% are her2 negative so in them also the her2 blocker is available that is known as targeted monotherapy targeted monotherapy the name of targeted monotherapy is herceptin or the herceptin is the brand name so main name is trastuzumab trastuzumab so the receptors which are 
just to zoom out it is a monoclonal antibody so the recept the tumors which are her2 positive trastuzumab will be effective in them the tumors which are that is the summary so you have to see before uh, so there is a patient in front of me the patient is having breast cancer the patient is present in my opd patient is complaining to me doctor i am having a lump in the breast so what i have done i have palpated the lump there is a lump the lump is having a ill defined border so it is looking like a uh, malignancy so first i will do a clinical examination after that i will ask the patient to do a mammography for confirmation in mammography also calcification and infiltrating borders will be visible that will confirm that yeah it is a malignancy after that i will ask the patient to do a biopsy or fnac for just confirmation so in biopsy or fnac there will be a report by the histopathologist that it is an invasive breast cancer then what i will do i am a doctor i will operate this patient i will take the tumor out now two types of surgeries are there either i will take only tumor out that is lumpectomy or i will take the whole breast out that is mastectomy now depending on the size of the tumor i will take a decision and i will take the uh, tumor out so surgery will be done either lumpectomy or mastectomy surgery is done after surgery the tissue which is coming out i will send it for irc profile in the irc profile the histopathologist will tell us whether it is er pr for erpr runs together whether it is positive or negative or her2 whether it is positive or negative so after that after surgery surgery to sare patient mein karenge by default after that mai decide karungi which patient should receive tamoxifen which shouldn't receive tamoxifen which patient should receive trastuzumab and which shouldn't receive trastuzumab the patients which are erpr positive should receive tamoxifen that is erpr blocker the patients which are her2 positive should receive trans to zumab trans to zumab which is a monoclonal antibody blocker of her2 so after that i will decide the course of the treatment after that i will provide chemotherapy along with chemotherapy i will provide hormonal therapy and targeted therapy so that is the whole scenario i have explained you based on it there is molecular classification you can see here last thing the the breast tumors are divided in four categories luminal a luminal b basal and her2 positive luminal a are the ones which are erpr positive but her2 negative so in them you will offer tamoxifen to them tamoxifen to them tamoxifen will be given to them but uh, tr uh, trastuzumab trastuzumab or herceptin is not given to them because these are her2 negative so that is luminal type a having best prognosis the second type is luminal type b these are triple positive erpr also positive trastuzumab her2 also positive so you will give tamoxifen also trastuzumab also to them the basal one are known as tnbc triple negative breast cancer please learn triple negative breast cancer these are erpr negative as well as her2 negative so you can't offer tamoxifen to them you can't offer trastuzumab to them and you don't know the growth factors which are responsible for growth here so these have worse prognosis the most for some of the four and last are only her2 positive so these are erpr negative but her2 positive so you can't offer tamoxifen to them but you can offer trastuzumab to them so being a doctor you should know this so that was the molecular classification i would like to come on the second case so this is the second case in front of you very easy based on this knowledge only you can crack it so in relationship to triple negative tumors of the breast which of the following statement is correct yes the four options are in front of you just now i have told you the molecular classification of the breast in the molecular classification of the breast Uh, what are triple negative breast tumors what are triple negative breast tumors so the triple negative are the one which are er pr and her2 all of them is negative it is not ck7 ck5 and ck14 it is not related to egfr it is not related related to gcdp it is related to er pr and her2 all of them are negative so these are known as basal basal tumors or triple negative breast cancer so that is the correct answer correct answer here is c this is the next question in front of you read the question then i will show you the diagram i will show you the image also just read the question so take the clues from the question a 63 year old lady is there with a nipple erythema with a nipple erythema can you see the diagram here the patient is presenting to you with a nipple erythema so this is the complaint of the patient given to you so patient is presented with nipple erythema and ulceration over the nipple in the breast you have done a nipple biopsy in the nipple biopsy you are looking what you are seeing there are large round cells with large nuclei prominent nuclei and abundant peculated cytoplasm this is a typical description given to you and the main main clue in the question is these cells are present in the epidermis of the nipple in the epidermis of the nipple these large cells are present and cells are positive for ck7 and negative for s100 s100 negative means it is not melanoma it is not melanoma it is s100 negative but it is ck7 positive means some epithelial tumor is there so what is the most likely diagnosis the four options are in front of you what is the most likely diagnosis 
whether it is melanoma no it is asymptomatic negative it can't be melanoma whether it is paget disease whether it is bowen's disease whether it is phalloid tumor so what it is so here yeah, the correct answer here is paget disease so what is paget disease actually in paget disease what is happening now in paget disease uh, uh, female will come to you patient will come to you she is a typically old old patient it occurs in old age and patient will typically come to you with nipple erythema ulcerated and scaled skin over the nipple so she will feel she will have itching over this reason and she will run to a dermatologist or skin specialist for this because she 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 doesn't have any idea that she may have malignancy inside the breast she is thinking it is some dermatological condition some skin condition because on palpation of the breast you will not feel any mass mass is too small to feel so actually what is happening this is the breast this is the breast you can see this is the nipple area inside the breast these are the acina these are the acina the small small circular structures these are the acina and all the acina is are opening in terminal ducts these are the terminal ducts these all are terminal ducts so these terminal ducts will open in lacticiferous duct it is a big duct and lacticiferous duct is opening in the nipple so these all are lacticiferous ducts the lacticiferous ducts are opening in the nipple so what is happening actually here tumor is present in some of the acina just suppose in this acina tumor is present but tumor malignant cells are too small to be palpated tumor is too small so it is not palpated so what is happening the tumor cells are traveling in the terminal duct after terminal duct these are traveling in the lactiferous duct after traveling from the lactiferous duct they are coming in the nipple after coming in the nipple it is entering in the epidermis of the nipple so this is you know the skin have epidermis and dermis so these tumor cells are entering in the epidermis of the nipple so that's why this is typically known as paget disease so patient is presenting with nipple nipple erythema nipple scaling nipple itching so it is looking like only skin is involved there is no mass inside but there is a, it is a it is a malignant condition in paget condition there is a small tumor which is hidden inside so it is a malignant condition patient will typically present to you with with nipple erythema itching so that is that is a typical case of uh, paget disease so in paget disease there is eczematoid lesion present over the nipple and it is a invasive carcinoma in the underlying breast you can see here it is having less favorable prognosis the tumor cells from the underlying ductal carcinoma migrate to the lactiferous duct after that it will enter the epidermis of the nipple and it will produce skin lesions you can see this is a tumor cells bunch of tumor cells it is traveling via lactiferous duct you can see lactiferous duct it is coming in the nipple and these these cells are entering in the epidermis of the nipple see these are large cells with vacuolated cytoplasm these are known as paget cells typically paget cells in the epidermis so epidermis is the biggest clue here glossy the nipple will look fissured ulcerated you can see here and microscopically you will found paget cells in the epidermis can you see these large cells these are the tumor cells paget cells in the nipple these one paget cell in the in the nipple and these paget cell these paget cells these are uh, ck7 positive ema positive these are epidermal mark uh, uh, epithelial markers so all epithelial markers are positive melanoma is positive for s100 but in our question s100 is negative bowen disease is positive for p63 in our question no information is given about this Im immuno profile so read the question again now you will come to know what is the correct answer here so what is the correct answer in this scenario 63 year old female again favoring paget disease uh having nipple erythema and nipple ulceration this is a clue and when you done a nipple biopsy you found large cells with vacuolated cytoplasm which are present in the epidermis which are negative for s100 if they are negative for s100 melanoma is ruled out and the cells are present in epidermis so it is typically a skin lesion that's why nipple is showing nipple of the breast is showing ulceration and erythema so typical answer in the scenario is paget disease so that was the whole clinical scenario coming to the next question next question is in front of you yes next question is in front of you very easy a 31 year old sister of a patient a patient is already there a 31 year old sister of a patient on slide a this is the slide of the patient has a mammography that reveals a suspicious density a biopsy of the specimen has the microscopic appearance shown another sister was diagnosed with ovarian cancer last year so what is the microscopy shown here and what is the uh, gene which is mutated in both the sisters is there is some common gene which is mutated to both the sisters there are two sisters one is having density in the breast so she is having some breast lesion which is shown in the image in the image so she is having of course this is a diagnosis of breast cancer you can see tumor cells a special type of breast cancer is shown can someone tell me the name of this special type of breast cancer okay i will give you a clue just just uh, can you see this this mark i'm marking with red 
can you see this mark i'm marking with yellow both of them are yellow so this mark is showing what and this mark is showing what so tell me about the first mark this one what it is showing this mark is showing what it is showing tumor cells arranged in the glandular pattern tumor cells arranged in the glandular pattern if you zoom out the image you can see the tumor cells are hyperchromatic with large nuclei with high nc ratio with mitosis so these all are tumor cells and what is this this thing showing this one this one see what is this mark showing it is showing the background the background the pink color background can you see the pink color it is more pink see try to see the background the background is more pink in color that is more collagen is present in the stroma more collagen is present in the stroma it is a special type of breast cancer which is known as serous serous breast cancer serous breast cancer having collagenous stroma so it is a malignancy number one which type of malignancy infiltrative breast cancer which type of infiltrative breast, breast cancer a special type which is known as serous which is known as serous because the background contains abundant of collagenous stroma so that is the reason done and this is a nerve you can see here this is a nerve nerve looks like this on histopathology done so this is the thing this is the whole thing what is the gene which is mutated now there is a hint given in the question two sisters one having breast cancer another having ovarian cancer so there is some gene which is which is mutated and it is a both of them are familial cancers yes so what is the name of the gene of course the name of the gene is barca you all are right the name of the gene is barca barca 1 and barca 2 b r c a barca 1 so the diagnosis is infiltrating ductal carcinoma irregular cells are seen uh, growing uh, in the form of glands in a collagenous stroma that's why it is a special type of tumor which is known as serous tumor and the gene which is mutated here is barca it is barca so uh, barca is common for common gene if it is mutated patient may have ovarian cancer patient may have breast cancer or patient may have both and see the age is also indicating patient is only 31 year old and she is having breast cancer. This is not a normal age of breast cancer. Breast cancer normally occurs perimenopausal. You know the meaning of perimenopausal. So it is after it is around 45 to 55 years of age. So before menopause or after menopause, perimenopausal. This is the most common age. But here the patient is young. It, if it is not due to environmental mutations, it is due to inherited gene mutations which is present in the family. It will present at a younger age. So here this is the scene with our patient. So the correct answer here is. Barca gene. So this is how many questions can be framed. So okay. So many new questions are having here based on the grading and new things. But time is limited. So I have to stop here. I have to stop here. Thank you very much. If you want more cases, I am having more than 50 image based questions and 50 clinical scenario based questions for breast only, which I am going to discuss. When I am going to discuss these I will discuss all these at 10 p.m. today, 10 to 12 p.m. in the night. So 10 to 12 p.m. today in the night, not only today, every day, 10 to 12 p.m. I take class, a free class, where? Not on YouTube. I take free class on the Unacademy uh, special class platform. Yes, link will be given in the chat box later on. In this video only, you can take the link from here or else what you can go do? Go to the Play Store, install Unacademy Learners app from there. Install the app. After installing the app, select goal as need PG. Select goal as need PG. After going in the need PG goal, search for my name. My name is Dr. Priyanka. See the spelling. Priyanka Sachdev. My name is Dr. Priyanka Sachdev. Search my name under educators. You will find my profile link there. Just follow. You have to do nothing. Just follow my profile link. Once you follow my profile link, you will, you will get notifications of all upcoming classes number one. And you will get the recordings of all my previous lectures. That is for free. So multiple recordings, thousands of recordings are already available on the app. And you will also get the PDF of the notes for each of them. So if you want the PDF of this lecture also, it is available on the app. So after listening the lecture from here, just follow my advice, install the app, go on the app and see for the PDF of the notes along with free recordings are available there. And today also from 10 to 12, you can join me there. So nothing you have to do. You have to install the app and click on the link which is present in the chat box. And the, you will require a code. It is free, but you will require a code. The code is Sachdev10. That is my surname. S-A-C-H-D-E-V. Sachdev10 is the code. So use this code. Distribute it to your friends, seniors, juniors, all the medicals you know anywhere in the world. So you can distribute this code so they can watch my free classes along with PDF of the notes available there. So that is the thing. This is about the uh, free uh, free things, free uh, cl classes available on an academy. Apart from free, there is a paid platform. On the paid platform, there are two types of subscription, plus subscription 
and iconic subscription in plus subscription you will get access to only an academy live and recorded lectures in iconic along with an academy you will get access to prep letter iconic uh prep letter recorded lectures also now if you take the subscription within next three days till 11th of september if you take the subscription you will get printed notes free of cost if you take the subscription after 11th the notes will cost you separately so if you are if you are thinking to take a subscription please take it in the next three days to take the advantage of this opportunity a very good highly colorful uh, very simplified printed notes will be provided to you free of cost so please take the subscription within the next three days before 11th of september done and these are the batches available on the plus platform separate batches for fmg separate for next separate for neat pg so you can take the advantage of all these batches there is a one month neat pg package also available the cost is only 4500 rupees only this is a schedule for the grand test every sunday on plus platform we have grand test you will come to know if you participate in this you will come to know your real time ranking all over the india so you can take advantage of this grand test series also if you take the subscription last two offers for you if you take a subscription for 12 months you will get two month extra in the same cost if you take a subscription for four years that is the cheapest subscription available with us so it cost only 60,000 on plus and only 75,000 on iconic um, for the four years hold and these are the other subscriptions available on plus it is starting from two months till four years on iconic it is starting from 12 months since uh, till four years so whatever subscription you want you can take you can see longer the subscription cheaper it is you can see the price of four year so it is very cheaper so it is only 1200 or 1400 per month you if you convert it into monthly installment so if you're a first prof or second prof student now take a longer subscription at least for three years or four years if you're a pre-final or final year student then you can take two year or one year subscription also but longer the subscription you will take you will find it cheaper whatever subscription you are planning to take whether plus whether iconic whether one month whether four year the code is same the code is such dev 10 if you apply this code before payment you will get maximum discount that i can guarantee you will get 10 percent discount if you apply this code so the code is useful for two purpose one for free classes also and one for paid classes also code is same such dev 10 for free classes you can unlock my all free classes and download the pdf of the notes using this code and for paid classes once you are doing the payment just before the payment you will get heavy discount if you apply this code so remember the code it is useful for all of you whether for free whether for paid and see you all just after two minutes i'm having another class on youtube only i will teach you pharmacology in pharmacology i have started ans in ans i will teach you adrenergic drugs so don't go anywhere just follow me and uh, attend my adrenergic class okay see you i'm